Well, huh, the, my spouse just ordered this new fan. Very interesting design. It looks like a UFO, like an alien spacecraft, or even a man-made spacecraft. It, uh, it has very fragile plastic uh, fan blades that are retractable. And uh, I guess they're spring-loaded. But this one came with uh, two down rods. I'm using the larger down rod because it's a high vaulted ceiling. So yeah, as usual, it comes in the packing materials such as uh, foam and plastic and uh, didn't have any cardboard shims because the plastic they have, they, it's a, it's a, it's a styrofoam mold that already has, it's already pretty tight fit. <clears throat> but yeah, it's, uh, I haven't put it all together yet, but I've got it started as you will see in the following video here. Welcome to planet Earth. We are here from a distant galaxy. From a star system that is not even on your charts. It's further out, like 60 billion light years away. In case you're wondering what this is, it's a down rod. It fits into the mounting bracket that's on the ceiling and it supports the uh, fan assembly. And that ball right there keeps it level and stable because it's able to pivot. One thing that's very crucial in this assembly is you got to make sure the screws are in there, the pins are in there, that nothing's loose or that can break break free later because you don't want a big fan falling on your head or on the floor. Uh, so you got to be really uh, careful and cautious and sometimes you have to even go beyond the manufacturer's specs to make it more secure. Like uh, I had to add an extra screw on my other one to keep it from breaking out of the uh, that ball down rod ball.
if you do your own wiring, you got to make sure that it's a hundred percent correct. That, that that there's no loose connections and the wires are connected to the right wires, and that the ground wire especially is connected to the metal uh, support structure and ceiling that holds the fan, and also the fan it's to the fan itself to provide a good ground. Otherwise, uh, you could fry the motor or get shocked or both. Don't forget to put the ground wire on. What exactly is that? Is that an iron scepter? Uh, or a stick? Some kind of a metallic hat. Weird. And uh, of course, the little housing there has the mounting bracket inside of it. I have to pry that loose uh, so that I can attach it separately to the ceiling. You guys remember that Devo song where they wore those red plastic hats? A little larger than the one I'm wearing on my head now. It was called Devo. And they sang this song called, I believe it was called Whip It. Yes, it looks like a communion cup. Uh, I know that uh, that's a really big uh, relic, uh, religious uh, ritualism in uh, the Catholic Church, among other uh, Protestant churches as well. Communion is, is, a, is a, com a commandment uh, by Jesus Christ himself. And I didn't realize it at first, but it dawned on me after I was putting it together that it looks like a, a priestly chalice that they use during a religious ceremony at different uh, Orthodox churches, uh, Lutheran and Catholic and uh, probably a few others. It actually looks like uh, a few things. It looks like either the dome, a capital dome, or one of those uh, I don't know, shamkas is it called that I, that the Jew that the uh, Jewish community wears, or it looks like one of those uh, those hats that the cardinals uh, wear in the in the Catholic churches, those little red caps, uh, or it could be something else. If you look, stand back and look at those. It looks like it could be a face of, of a Martian, too.
Another piece of advice is make sure that no wires are uh, between any of the, the mechanical uh, parts because that could be problematic later, could cause arcing or shorting. Yeah, I've uh, I've loved science fiction since I was a child. I watched Lost in Space. I watched uh, uh, the other one with the Slee Stacks, um, Land of the Lost, and uh, He Man, and, and all these other futuristic mu uh, cartoons. I, like, uh, and I enjoyed it. Star Wars, Star Trek. All those space age futuristic movies and shows and series, and so uh, I have a thing for science fiction. Pulling, pulling wires through the down rod, making sure that it's there's no crinks in it or crimps or, or bends or twists. You got to make sure it's straight and that there's no obstructions and that doesn't get pinched. So you don't want to have a short later on. You could even, uh, it, by, look, by looks of it, it looks like a plunger, a toilet plunger. Uh, look at it kind of, kind of from a different angle.
There's a lot of wiggle room in there. Now why so much play? That's weird. They could have made it a little tighter. Look at that. It's about uh, a little over an eighth of an inch in there. Of space. So you gotta, in order to keep it perfectly straight, I'm gonna have to really, I may have to bring a, a tri-square out here. It's not a bad idea. Well, I made a very interesting discovery. You see, there's so much give right here that when I tighten these screws, there's only screws on this side and this side. There's not a screw on the third side. So it's going to lean too far to the other side and it won't be perfectly centered. So what I have to do, I don't know if the instructions uh, mention it. I'll have to look at the instructions, but uh, looks like the only way to remedy it is because uh, I don't see another screw hole. I could either drill for a new screw hole, screw hole, but that would be too much work. Or I can just shim it on this side so that when I tighten these bolts, It'll be square. Because uh, that could affect the way that the fan uh, operates. Although it is on a pivot. It'll find middle. It'll find middle because of this ball. But it wouldn't hurt to try to square it up the best I could. As you can see here, this is a very, very interesting design. Very unusual, because these are the blades, and it looks like they're retractable. And once it builds up a uh, circumfec, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh, what is that? Once it builds up circular motion, once it builds up momentum, these uh, blades I'm gonna spring out. It looks like. But see how flimsy they are. They're very lightweight and flexible. I'm just, which means that they're uh, very fragile. I'm hoping that uh, spare parts are available if they ever if they ever crack or fracture. 